But could this mild winter lead to a warm and dry spring, or will it be wet and wild? Here is our spring forecast. It has practically been the winter that wasn't. It's been fantastic. We may even set the all-time record for the least amount of snow in a winter season. The ground did not even freeze this winter, and Toby Tobin says... Grass is in great shape. This is perfect for people to be gardening. It was actually a wet winter, as Kansas City had nearly five inches of rain in November. December was wet, too, with over three inches of rain. It then dried out in January, but it got wet again in February. The generous amounts of rain coming in many different storm systems is a strong indication of a wet spring ahead. Our weather team uses a new forecasting method to make accurate weather forecasts called the LRC, Lee's Axe Recurring Cycle. 41 Action News meteorologist Jeff Penner remembers last year's spring forecast well. Last year we picked out May 22nd to June 1st would be an active period and uh, sure enough, May 22nd was that awful tornado in Joplin. And yeah, you can pick out, you can look at previous cycles and then project out, boy, this looks like it could be a severe weather setup in May, but the advantage we have going into the spring is we've seen three cycles. Going into the winter, we really haven't seen enough cycles, so we get smarter as each month goes along and be more and more accurate with time. We have been learning a lot more about my theory in recent years. <laughs> Here are the basics. A unique weather pattern sets up every year in the first few weeks of fall from October 1st to November 10th. A cycle length evolves and the pattern continues through winter, spring, and into the early part of summer. This year's cycle has been between 45 and 55 days, right around 47 days. We use the LRC and other factors when making our winter forecast. So how did we do? Here's the winter forecast accuracy check. Rain will cut into snowfall totals. We just didn't think it would cut into all snowfall totals. Snowfall will be around 21 inches. We weren't expecting a cold winter. There may be a major ice storm. We expect above average precipitation. The drought south and southwest of Kansas City will get some significant relief. With the same pattern moving into spring, we are forecasting above average rainfall from March to June. 15.62 inches is average during these four months. Expect 17 to 22 inches of rain this year. And we are forecasting near to above average temperatures. Severe weather season is about to begin, and we can use the LRC to pick out which dates are most likely going to have severe thunderstorms or at least strong thunderstorms in our viewing area. Kansas City rarely has more than four or five serious setups for severe weather each season. We think it may be a bit above average this spring. In April, we are forecasting three storm systems capable of producing severe weather. We are expecting a stormy May with thunderstorms on many different days, a few of which will be severe. It will likely be a wet month. Finally, June should calm down a bit as summer approaches, but expect two or three active stretches. Now, last year we picked out May 22nd to about June 1st to get very active. And of course, you know what happened in Joplin, May 22nd. Now, the question is what will really happen when it comes to severe weather this season? A lot more to come. Go to KSHB.com, go to our weather blog. I'm about to post uh, something right on there here in a few minutes. We can open up the discussion about the spring. All right, so go over there, KSHB.com. Well, uh, more on this in the coming weeks. We have a sponsor for our three-degree warranty. It's A.B. May. And Wednesday night, we'll be giving away a great prize worth $750. So Susan Mason from Olathe, Kansas, is in the running. We did get within three degrees again today. The sky is cloudy now. There's actually a couple sprinkles trying to form. We may have sprinkles or light rain showers tomorrow in the morning. The best chance of thunderstorms will come in late in the day. Wait till you see the setup. The pressure is very high, 30.34. It is going to crash. When you have falling pressure and an easterly to southeasterly wind, a storm is approaching, and that's what we have tonight. You can see the thick cloud cover growing over the plains, and it's attached to this storm system over the southwest part of the country. So we did the spring forecast, and now we have a spring-like storm, but it has a whole winter component to it. As that comes out into the plains, look at the setup for tomorrow. Dry
dry air will be flowing into western Kansas later tomorrow. A dry line, like that happens in the spring, will be setting up. A warm front, a cold front. This is the triple point. We usually would have severe thunderstorms with this setup, but since it's late February, it's not quite warm enough tomorrow for a serious severe weather setup. Snow, a blizzard will be taking place over the northern plains, and for us, a good chance of rain and thunderstorms by about 6.30 tomorrow evening. It may take that long as this front and dry line approach us. See this little warm wedge? This is what we call the warm sector of the storm, and it's tomorrow night. Wait to see this forecast. Finally, by around midnight, the cold front will be approaching tomorrow night, and it'll turn cooler with the blizzard Conditions across upper Michigan, a foot of snow up there in northern Minnesota, and we will dry out on Wednesday. That's probably the best day to wash the car. Okay, look at this. Tomorrow we go up at about noon to 55 degrees, by 6 p.m. to 59. By midnight tomorrow night, it's our high temperature of 60, and the chance of rain goes up as we go towards the end of the day. Seven day forecast. A high temperature of 64 Thursday, 51 Friday, 78 next Monday. How about that? There's some spring fever in the air, and we're not expecting any severe weather, but there could be some small hail tomorrow evening. We'll watch those thunderstorms closely. The pet telethon is on 38th the spot, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Sunday night, so be sure to watch that. And then once again, our severe weather calendar for April. The first part of April, not so concerned with, but 11th to the 16th, 24th to 26th, a couple storms in there we have to watch. May is going to be the active month. And so the right. April, May, and June calendars we'll be able to see online, because I know people may want to look at that again. I'm going to put those on the blog here in a few okay. minutes, okay? In about two minutes. KSHB.com. All, right. All right. Good work, Gary. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys.